have told them to keep their bananas off the terraces. That's right, bananas, inflatable ones, which enthusiasts say have put the fun back into football, along with inflatable fish, skeletons, and in some cases, black puddings. Critics say they spoil the view. The great banana debate is certainly splitting football. Manchester City fans turned up for their match against West Brom last night, clutching their fruit and vowing not to be parted from their inflatables, whether London clubs liked it or not. That's Scouts t shirt banana, nice souvenirs. The craze started here with a player called Imri Viradi. Supporters started calling him Imri Banana. Some wagon the uh, crowd one day called him Imri Banana, and somebody just brought a banana in and it's just spread from there, as far as I remember. The commercial possibilities have been spotted quickly. Real bananas have been brandished sometimes to taunt black players, but the inflatables have no sinister intent. But it's not just bananas. As well as oranges, we spotted several crocodiles and other assorted creatures. Skeletons are apparently also a popular line. This stall holder had sold over 300 pounds worth of produce in an hour's trading. Well, don't you think that that is funny, Mr. Shushard? Hey, what, what's wrong with that? Hey, well, we've got blow up skeletons, we've got blow up dinosaurs, gorillas, anything that'll bring a little bit of fun back to the game, you know. Well, do what's all the fighting at the games and punching and beating people up. Why not bring a bit of fun back when we get back into Europe? The craze has certainly spread. At Grimsby, it's Haddock taking over the terracing. Whether Arsenal and other London clubs like it or not, the food fad is gaining strength. At Berry Football Club on Saturday, 3,000 inflatable black puddings will be going on sale for the first time. Friends.